Ask ChatGPT. Okay. I mean, I can, but it's not going to be as helpful as you might think. Like when it comes to complicated stuff, I don't know if like, this is why I say AI can't replace developers. Like, have you guys used ChatGPT for anything that's more complicated than like literally the most trivial stuff? When people say, look at this, ChatGPT created my basic hello world app from this photograph. Whoa, it created a to-do list. Like that's not complicated when it can just copy and paste a bunch of code from the internet. What's hard is to solve like a really specific problem. I don't think it's going to be able to fix this. I mean, I, I hope I'm wrong. Let's see. I'm going to ask it. Okay. It's a common issue. Does that mean it's going to have a solution? Maybe it is going to replace us. Let's see. So now what's the suggested solution? I mean, I, I guess it's not a bad solution. It's just setting a timeout. How is that a good solution though? Because you know what that means, right? That means in the case where the resolver is only gonna, like the thing is only going to emit once and I navigate back to the page, we'll be waiting five seconds for the page to load. So how is that a good solution? Isn't there a better solution? Th this is why I, I don't believe in the AI hype because it must be the, the most like beginner programmers that believe in this hype because... Uh, they they probably don't even read the chat GPT stuff. They probably just copy and paste the code and they're like, oh, it works. They don't even understand it. And if you don't, people don't even know enough stuff to argue with chat GPT. They don't, they don't think it through. They're just like copy and paste monkeys. They're the type of people who go on Stack Overflow. They don't read anything. They just copy and paste the code. They don't even understand the code. Okay, improved approach. Is it getting better? Check immediate user state. Get current user. I, I don't think that function even exists. It's just making stuff up now. Yep, it's just making stuff up now. Great. Who's the guy who suggested that we use ChatGPT to debug it? I need to ban that guy. So let's go back to the drawing board. Let's put this toy away. ChatGPT is just a toy. So let's put that away and let's, let's solve it like some grown men. If a function doesn't exist, just ask it to create it. 100% I can promise you it won't be able to create it because it doesn't, even if the way it wrote that function, it wrote it synchronously. How can I get the user synchronously? At the worst case, I have to fetch it from the database, even if I didn't have to rely on these authentication libraries. And that is not going to be synchronous. It's a network call. You know, there's one thing we didn't try. Stack Overflow. Emits null on page load it looks like there is a way so all we really needed to do was go to stack overflow this whole time have you seen people say they don't use google anymore they don't use stack overflow anymore they just use chat gpt exclusively i don't know who those people are but they can't be working on angular or firebase stuff because like god help you if you try to do it without that